I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. We've seen some cooling trends in the Canadian real estate market over the past 12 months or so. And in fact, we've seen sales drop quite dramatically nationwide since the implementation of stress tests brought in by the federal government about a year ago. And now we've got some analysis from one of the big Canadian banks about how much that has actually cooled off the real estate market. The CIBC has tabulated that the federal government stress test, which basically uh, force buyers into the housing market to qualify at a higher mortgage rate than is typical has taken away about 15 billion dollars worth of mortgage activity you combine that with foreign buyers taxes in Toronto and Vancouver and things have cooled off to the tune of more than 20 billion dollars in reduced mortgage sales now sales have slumped for the past six months in a row across the country and dropped dramatically in Vancouver which was of course at one time the hottest real estate market sales down 32 percent at a year-over-year -year comparable in Toronto more or less steady for prices and sales. A lot of that, though, has to do with very few properties coming onto the market. One of the big Canadian banks saw its stock price at a record today as the markets continued to advance to almost record highs. We saw the Royal Bank clear $105.50 per share. Banks have been uh, on the move to the upside consistently since the start of the year. One of the best performing sectors on Bay Street. Some solid earnings expected again. And the share price for the RBC year to date is up nearly 13% also saw a bounce back for pot stocks on the Toronto market today, a day after shares of Afria out of Leamington plunged by 14 percent on a much wider than anticipated quarterly loss for the Leamington, Ontario-based company. Share price up slightly today. Best performer, though, was Canopy Growth. As the company CEO Bruce Linton was talking at a conference on the cannabis sector in Toronto and forecast that Canopy this year on its fiscal will hit a billion dollars in sales, which is above consensus estimates from analysts. And that had the stock price up by better than 2%. And get ready for a jump of the gas pump pumps overnight here in the GTA specifically, but nationwide perhaps as we've got a forecast for Toronto prices to go up three cents to a dollar twenty-seven nine. Western Canada, though, has the highest prices on record in North America in Vancouver, where the price is now at a buck seventy per liter, and expected to climb further again on shortage of gasoline in the market in California. In the states, they're paying a lot too, four dollars per gallon U.S., which is the equivalent of about a dollar forty-three Canadian. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.